Hello, everybody. I am spectacular, the Silver Stack. I made an absolute mess out of my little workstation here. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so, whoa, those things just flew off the table. But luckily, I have speg like reflexes. I was able to grab them. But I have a question for you um, as we're talking about, you know, precious metals here, because this is what I do on this channel. I talk about precious metals. I'm curious about you. Are you a stacker only or are you a collector? only right think about that for a second and i want you to shout it out wherever you are in your house just shout it out real loud and i promise you i'm going to be able to hear it just shout it out well hello everybody i seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals i encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey i am spectacular the silver stacular Okay, did you shout it out? I hope you did. Um, I couldn't hear you, so if you want to shout it out now, you're more than welcome to. Um, really loud, so the neighbors hear you too. Uh, but listen, I want you to focus on you, okay? You. I want you to be happy. Um, I, I think that people are so worried about what they are, whether they're stacking or they're collecting. Um, they're trying to adjust their their stack, right? Man, buy what makes you happy. we got to come back to basics every now and then and we, we got to come back right now because i see people and they're all over the place man they're just they're so entangled with their thoughts and i don't know what to do and i'm hearing this guy say that i should be buying this and this guy says that this is better and uh i should just focus on weight only i shouldn't worry about like collectibles and buy what makes you happy and i think you're gonna be okay right um is is stacking purely weight a good strategy sure Sure, that's great. Um, I will say that me, spectacular, I'm both, right? I, I, I can't just put myself into one. I'm sorry if that was a trick question. I'm both a stacker and a collector. Absolutely, 100%. I love stacking precious metals. This is the cheap stuff, right? Sometimes not the, you know, the cheapest stuff, like American Silver Eagles, I know. But, you know, it's considered a bullion product, and I stack them up just like you see right here. See how I stack them? But every now and then, I got to get some collectibles because I have to get you know, into the game. I have to feel interested. And I'm going to tell you the truth. Collectibles can be worth a lot of money. Now, if you are only stacking for one thing, and this is the, the SHTF guys, right? The stuff hits the fan scenario kind of guys. Um, you're out there. I know. I know you're out there because you leave me the comments saying like, oh, wow, that's not going to work in a SHTF scenario. Well, you wonder when that's going to happen, right? I'm, gonna, I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath for it. It seems like any day we could go there, but it just never takes place. And eventually, this is what's going to happen, you SHTF guys out there. Eventually, after the ACE, <laughs> SHTF scenario occurs, people are going to come back out of hiding, right? And uh, collectibles. Collectibles will always be important. That's why coin collecting itself is one of the biggest hobbies in the world because people love to collect things. Baseball cards, Pokemon cards, uh, geez, those little magic cards. Um, shoot, right here, silver and gold collectibles. There are so many different collectibles out there. People love collecting. They love just having stuff, right? They love getting stuff from their childhood, whatever the case may be. That's why some of the peanut coins did so well. Um, they, they want that, that was memories and collecting is never going away. It might take a break. It might take a little break in certain moments of, you know, what's going on in the world for sure. Uh, but it's going to always be there and come back strong. So don't be afraid to collect. Also, I'm going to give you an example real quick. Let me just throw this out there. Let me just send it flying. We got a little Superman coin right here. I want to talk about this, right? So Superman did extremely well. This is a new coin, just came out, I think, earlier this month. And I uh, got mine today. Uh, it took, took it forever. But anyways, <clears throat> so Superman cost me about $37. Already, in just a few days' time, Superman is flying in at about $54 in the secondary market, okay? So an almost, pretty close to a $20 profit per coin on these right here. This is a collectible. This is not the cheap bullion is bullion, you know, bottom of the barrel, as cheap as it gets. This is a collectible. And like I said, I can make almost $20 on each one of these things right here um, on the secondary market. What what can I do with that $20, you wonder? Well, I can sell a few of those because I've got a few of them, and I can buy cheap bullion. That's an awesome possibility 
when it comes to collecting rather than only stacking precious metals, right? Only stacking the cheapest possible thing. Throw some collectibles in there. Um, you know, Engelhards, man, those, that's an example of, you know, a bullion product, right? I mean, a silver bar, but Engelhard has a huge premium. Sometimes these old bars right here, people pay a lot of extra money for old Engelhards. Listen, collectibles are in, ladies and gentlemen. If you are stacking and collecting only for one little thing, one little focusing point, just this little SHTF thing that who knows if it's going to happen. I know you, th you say it is. You say it is. Again, I'm holding my breath. I'm really holding it. Um, could be any day now, the way the world's working. Who knows? But so far, it hasn't happened. You know, I think that you can broaden your stack a little bit and kind of, you know, sprinkle in some collectibles in there and do really, really well. Uh, be careful. Follow this channel a little bit uh, about certain collectibles that will and will not work. Uh, I see a lot of uh, companies out there right now, and they're putting out these limited to 100 or 500 uh, coins. And automatically you think, whoa, that's a good deal. Only 100, only 500. They must be good, right? But then they charge you like $200, $300 for one of these little coins. I know you're laughing right now. You're like, that's unbelievable. There's no way. Yes, there's ways. Uh, I've seen many of them on a daily basis almost are coming out. Uh, these companies know that you and I love this stuff. And sometimes they play with our, our emotions a little bit, man. Our, our memories, man. They're, they're putting out stuff from our past and things that we find interesting. Dragons and aliens and all kinds of crazy stuff, right? Because we're boys for most of the part, you know, and that's what we like. They don't put out a whole lot of girl stuff, a whole lot of Barbie coins. I haven't seen those yet, but... Girls, they're probably coming out with it. You know, if they know that women are starting to stack more, they're going to be doing some Barbie coins. I guarantee that. Or whatever girls are into. I don't know. I'm a guy. You know what I mean? I like dragons and aliens. That's it. And, uh, you know, that's it. That's all. Um, but <laughs> just be careful because those are limited to 100, 500. But then they took all the money off the table and kept it for themselves. Those 200, 300 dollar coins. They have all the potential of a flip in their hands and they just stick you with the bill. Um, you know, whereas the Superman coin, I kind of felt good about that. It had some history. It was a third in the series. I know people are going to like to collect this series like that. And the other coins, the uh, Wonder Woman prior and the Batman first did very good. And then Batman did very, very good. And it had some history there. And I could build um, kind of a, you know, a knowledge base of, hey, this will be a good flip. And so you got to kind of do some thinking for yourself and some research and you know, if I see something that has potential, um, oftentimes I'll put it on my community tab or I'll make a video saying, hey, this might be, you know, very good. Uh, you know, think about it on Instagram, too. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I try to put some things on there that I say, hey, this is probably going to be a good potential right here. Um, and I'm getting involved in it. And, uh, you know, even on those posts right there where it's like I, time and time again, I'm able to flip those for a good profit or they come out. Um, in an advantageous way for me, I still get a lot of negativity from people out there that are just like, oh, you're just you're focusing on collectibles. You should be stacking for weight only. Listen, man, you got to ignore some of these haters sometimes because they really will bring you down. Um, you know, they're just going to keep stacking weight. And that's good, man. If you want to stack weight, that's 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 great. I go a different route. I go collectibles and weight. And that thing has been working really good, really, really good. I, I would argue that some of the most successful people out there right now are doing a little bit of both. Uh, I'm, I'm arguing it. I'm saying it. I came out. Anyways, uh, that's my rant. My rant is to, because I see a lot of comments, man. I see a lot of people trying to correct others and say, oh, man, you can't. You just got to stack weights. Just focus on being as cheap as possible. And that's good. If you want to go that route, then, you know, whatever. But there's a really, really big potential and the collectibles. Precious metals right now, and I've said this many times, um, breaking records, man. All kinds of records being broken in the precious metals uh, selling markets. Um, all these companies right now are just reporting record sales, record sales. It's because so many people right now in the world, they're kind of like, man, what the heck is going on out there? It's crazy talk. Um, everything I see on the news is just bad, bad, bad. And people want to buy precious metals. So, um, you know, it's big right now. It's big. And there's a lot of potential when it's big like that for all of us. So 
you know, do some, do some research, do some homework, uh, follow those really big, good channels and stuff. They give you some good advice usually. And, uh, I think you're going to, you're going to be doing well if you can, you can broaden your horizons <laughs> to both a collector and a stacker. I know, right? What am I saying? This is crazy talk. You're going to be both. You can't be both. And that's what people believe, man. They believe they got to focus on one or the other and just do you, right? The old, the old saying, well, not, not that old. I think it's kind of a newer saying that kind of has really, you know, caught on. Do you, um, and, and you'll, and buy what you like. And I think you're going to be okay for sure. For sure. Right. Uh, to some degree, to some limits, make sure that you're focusing a little bit on what works, what has worked, do a little research. And, uh, I think you're going to be all right. Um, anyways, yeah, I made a mess here. Uh, there's no real rhyme to reason about what I did. Um, I did actually. So I got this recently, this train. Okay. This is one of those things, right? It's a collectible. What am I doing? I thought it was cool. And <clears throat> I still think it's pretty cool. I wish there was some darn instructions that were in this thing because I could not for the life of me figure out how to open this. Um, I'm going to actually show everybody. There's actually a screw that went right here and it comes apart this way. This is their little Lionel train thing that they, they made, but um, how is it made, you wonder? How, is it made like, you know, good? Is it is it sturdy? Well, this part right here, the bottom is like metal, so it feels sturdy, but the rest is just cheap plastic. No real big deal. Made in China, of course, but it has this really cool ability. This will be a nice shelf piece. Regardless, I'm happy I got this. Um, the company that apparently put it together in China doesn't know what they're doing because they ended up putting together all crooked and then have this little crease right now on this little foam piece. But you know what? That's okay. What, how, how can I be mad at them? How can I be mad at them? I guess I can't, right? Because what good would it do me? Uh, came with these nice little pieces right here. Came with, you know, I paid extra, of course, to get them, but uh, they're nice little, little bars. And uh, I think you just put them, let's put one here. I kind of wish I bought more bars now. And then one here. Bada bang. Now, is this a collectible that's, you know, flippable that uh, I can make a lot of money on? You know, maybe not. But this is something that's really going to make me happy because I get a little stuff that goes on my shelf now. And, uh, you know, I can be happy like that. Those little, little shelf pieces. So I think it would go something like, I don't know, this. Hold on. Stand by. I don't want to mess it up. Prepare for epic screw battle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tabs, and then this. Yep, seems to be good. Cool. So there's my little my little train with only two bars in it. You know, I just made a delivery, so it's only got two bars left. Bada bang. But that's an example of just uh, a piece that, listen, it's not going to do well. I don't believe it's going to do well on the secondary market. Maybe a little bit. So this this is just something that keeps me happy. This, you know, it's not going to be something that's generally going to make me a lot of money in the years to come by any means. But this is my little shelf piece. Is this something that kind of keeps me happy? And I don't know. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, you know, I don't know what to say besides just buy what you like and just, you know, do some research. Um, don't focus on all the negativity out there because uh, people have been doing this for a long time. I will say a lot longer than I've been doing it, uh, way longer than I've had a channel now. And they have beliefs, man. They, you know, they're, they're definitely, you know, very uh, belief driven. And uh, also when you're talking about precious metals, people have their money tied up in it, right? So they get very emotional. If you start saying that you have a better way or a different way, you know, no, 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 there's only one way to do it. It's to buy as cheap as possible. You got to get the bullion as cheap as possible. Otherwise, you're not doing it the right way. Um, listen, I'm telling you from experience, um, pretty successful with some of this stuff right now. I'm not saying I'm the most successful in the entire world, but things are working out uh, pretty nicely. I will say that collecting can really be a benefit to you really been a benefit. Uh, something else I'm seeing real quick that people are doing is that they're selling one thing or trading for one thing to get at something else because they want to restructure their stack, right? They're like, oh, I want to sell all my, my 100 ounce bars and get just one ounce bars. Um, I think that 
if you really want to do that, I mean, go for it. Um, if you're going to be at a loss because of it, if you think it's some kind of thing you need to do, man, just hold your 100 ounce bar, man. It's not that big of a deal, you know. Um, you don't. Why you got to restructure your stack for like to that degree? I get all kinds of weird things, you know. I mean, all sizes, um, a variety is is really an important thing in my opinion, right? Get a little bit of everything. I got fractional, I got constitutional, I got 10 ounce bars, I got five ounce bars, I got junk silver, I got, uh, I already said that, but I got, uh, um, you know, big bars, I got little bars, I got gold, I got uh, collectibles, I got, you know, things that will cover all bases. And that's really what I think is the most important. Get something that's going to cover all bases and get things that are gonna cover all bases. Because that's the way to, that's the way to do business right there, man. Get all your bases covered. Anyways, I've spoke enough. I've just rambled on about this thing. I just, you know, I heard this recently and I, I just, I'm kind of over it a little bit, to be honest with you. People just getting frustrated with themselves because of what other people are saying. And, uh, oh, you gotta, you gotta be a stacker only. You know, you go to some of these forums and stuff and all these people just, really just kind of like scoff at your stack because you've got, you've got collectibles in there. And, you know, it's, uh, it's people that are just stuck in their ways. And I would encourage you not to be stuck in your ways. I would encourage you to look out for opportunities and um, do a little research on collectibles and things that will definitely be able to, you know, flip for a quick profit. Uh, that's some cool stuff, man. That's, that's, it benefits you and your stack if you can do that. And I know that some people don't know how to do it, man. They're just like, oh, I don't have a YouTube like you, Spectacular. I don't have an Instagram, but um, all that stuff's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And another, you know, thing you can get onto is eBay. I know the eBay is kind of the wild, wild west for shysters and stuff. And um, people that come from China that say that they're actually from the United States. And then you go to buy something and it takes, you know, eight weeks to ship your thing to you. But, um, you know, it's it's a it's a decent place to sell. Uh, decent enough. I'll say that. Right. If you have limited uh, resources and places to go, it's decent enough. Now, listen, <clears throat> real quick before I go. If you are somebody that's like, well, I'm going to buy something collectible and I'm going to go over to my local coin shop and sell it there, you're going to come out at a loss. I'm just telling you right now, um, 99 times out of 100, you're going to be at a loss by doing that. That is not the way to sell things when you have collectibles. Um, your social media, your uh, forums, your eBay, those places right there do much better as a collectible. Uh, so... You know, if, you, if you're thinking, hey, I'm going to sell it to my local coin shop or that's the only option I have, collectibles is not for you. So I'm just going to throw that out there right there and maybe just stack bullion only. If that's your, if you're sure that that's the only thing you're going to be able to do is focus on your local coin shop for selling. Anyways, I got to go for now. I've rambled on about this. I just kind of, you know, I see the enough comments. I'm kind of over it. Like I said, it's just, you know, don't be, don't, don't focus on what somebody else makes you be. You know what I mean? Be yourself. I got to go for now, though. I, I made a mess. I made a mess. I got to go. Spectacular is out.